Hey guys, welcome back to Origami Twist. My name's Jen, and in today's video, I am going to share my first happy mail. Now, this is the first time I've ever done something like this, where you exchange goodies, um, kind of pen pal style, I guess. And um, I've done this happy mail exchange with my friend Pam, and I'll put the link to her um, video in the description box below, so you can go and check out what I sent to her. Um, but this video is all the goodies that she sent to me. And she decorated the box beautifully. It says, you've got mail on the outside. And it was really fun. Now, inside the box, all of the little um, treats and things were wrapped up. So I'll show you a picture of each one um, as I go through the different things that she sent. Okay, now, I, as many of you know, I'm in Australia. And I live in southwestern Australia with my husband. And... Pam lives in Baltimore, Maryland, so just outside of Baltimore, Maryland. So I sent her a bunch of Aussie things and she sent me a bunch of things that had to do with Baltimore. And as you can probably tell from my accent, I'm actually from the Northeastern United States originally. So it was a bit um, of a challenge for her to find some, some new things, but she really, really did a good job with these. They're so fun. So the first thing is um, Joe's number one all-purpose seafood seasoning. And I had asked her about um, this Maryland um, all-purpose se seasoning that I had heard about on YouTube. And this is the one that she found, and I cannot wait to try it out. And we had both chatted about um, tea, and I enjoy tea. She enjoys tea as well. So I sent her some uh, Twining's Australian afternoon tea, and she sent me a Maryland tea bag sampler. And I'm really looking forward to some of these. Things like Maryland's own Boston Tea Party, uh, right in Chestertown. Um, there's one here with black currant as one part of the flavoring, the black raven tea. Uh, Canton spice tea looks really neat. So I'm really looking forward to trying that out. And uh, thank you so much, Pam. We talked about little souvenirs that would be really cool. And um, the girls in my scrapbooking group Whenever we go, whenever we travel anywhere, um, typically we bring back a little tchotchke of some sort. And uh, magnets are one of my favorites. It's fun to have magnets from all over the place. And this one is a crab because I believe that the blue crab is um, really popular in or very prevalent in Maryland. This one's called the Maryland Mix, and it's a whole bunch of fun, like. Um, different nuts and some looks like raisins and all kinds of goodies in there. Can't wait to have that trail mix. She sent some really cool postcards. I love postcards. I've got a book where um, I buy postcards from different places to, you know, keep, keep them. Um, good memories of different trips. So I'll definitely be putting those in there and, you know, maybe make a little Project Life card that says Happy Mail on it or something. So this is what Baltimore looks like if you've never been. It's pretty cool. So she made this gorgeous card for me as well. And I have to say, I was so excited about sending it that I completely forgot to make a card or decorate anything that I put in it. So I feel really bad about that. But, um, uh, she's done such a beautiful job with this. It's really adorable. Love the little sequins. Love the origami stamp. How cool is that? And she even decorated the envelope for the card. So cute. We decided to exchange some fun like craft type stuff and there's this adorable uh, Lawn Fawn stamp set. Happy birthday to you. You're a fun guy. I love that joke. So cute. And as well as some mini origami papers which is so neat. This is my first Lawn Fawn um, stamp set ever, so that's really cool. And I would show you what's in here, except that we already ate it. It's, it was that good. This is the Barnacles Spicy, Spicy Snack Mix and Chesapeake Bay Seasoning. Uh, I love stuff like this, and I love that it's from the Blue Crab Bay Company, um, so it's very Baltimore, and it tasted really nice. It was like those some little crunchy bagel bits and all kinds of fun stuff. So very nice. Thank you so much, Pam. And I love this. I'll show you a photo as well, but um, she even put some of the goodies inside these adorable little bags, which I will be saving and using for uh, something in my home. They're kind of fun. Might put like a scent, 
some sort of scent packet or something in there and hang it in the closet or something. It's really neat and very cute. How cool is this guy? A Baltimore blue crab. Isn't he adorable? He is going to have pride of place in my craft space um, so he can, you know, make sure everything is done correctly. It, you know, we don't, we wouldn't want any mistakes, so <laughs> he's so cute. Just a little uh, beanbag guy, blue crab, and he will definitely have a special place in my craft room from now on. Okay, now this last thing was, I saw it and just went, oh my goodness, how the, how in the world, where in the world did she find this? So if I can find a link to this, I will totally put it in the description box below because I know a lot of the people that watch this, um, watch my videos enjoy paper crafting, but you really enjoy origami. And I just, I was absolutely blown away by this stamp set and die set from, I think it's Alt. All to new. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, I had never heard of this company um, before this swap. I actually sent uh, Pam a magazine that had a stamp and die set from this company, but I that is the first time I'd ever heard of it. And so the fact that she sent me a stamp and die set from the same company is so funny. But how cool! An Orakami dies and Orakami or origami, um, depending on how you want to spell it, um, stamps. A little elephant, there's the fox, I have that uh, a video for that um, project on my channel. Um, a dove, I'll see if I can find that, I might, might actually do that as a video coming up if that's something anybody's interested in. The same thing with the fish, the fish would be a good one too. Hummingbird, the, of course the paper crane, which I will be using that on everything from now on and a beautiful butterfly and I do have a blood butterfly tutorial on the curious website which I'll link below um, if anybody's interested in making a an origami butterfly so how cool is that I cannot wait to use these uh, I still haven't taken them out of the package because I just it's they're so neat um, so all of these adorable treats it was so much fun to do this thank you so much Pam for everything and for doing this uh, exchange with me. I really enjoyed that and uh, I look forward to more emails with you and chatting back and forth, hearing more about Baltimore and that sort of thing and uh, yeah, I really, really appreciate it. So I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I would love some I, actually, I'm kind of in need of some inspiration, so if you have any ideas for videos for me to do, please leave them in the description box below. I would be happy to have a look and see if I can make that happen. Thanks again, Pam, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, guys.